Hi guys, well, change is afoot. I've had a look at a bit of um, info off YouTube and I've just skipped through my intro. So there's no point me doing one, I'm wasting my time. So <laughs> I'm sure you'll understand. We're going to get straight into this, um, which is going to be stuffed or taxidermy type of thing, obviously. <laughs> Not with taxidermy because I couldn't do anything that small. But maybe a little fox. I haven't done this for a while. Right, I'm just using this as my core. Right, so I'm going to cover that now with some foxy coloured felting stuff. I've started using this because it's felting a bit quicker, but maybe not in that case for that. Right, okay, after much to do, that's where we're at. Right, well, um, yeah, that's it so far. <laughs> I'll put it on the black, you can see it better. It actually makes me think of a little pony. <laughs> right, I've brought you back. I'm getting some of the detail in a bit. It's still looking a bit more, I don't know, <laughs> badger-like or something like that. But as you can see, that's the one side where I've done no detail and the side where I've done more detail. Right, it's slowly but surely getting there. I'm not sure what I'm doing with these bits yet. I'm probably going to cut them off, I think, and uh, just carry on and try and shape. That's the case. So I've got to be careful just how big I go because it can't be any... It needs to be in that case, but... I did want it to turn its head, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. If it looks like I'm not going to get finished, I might just cut it off at the neck and make it a, a stuffed head for the <laughs> for the wall. <laughs> but we'll see. So I'll just trim these bits off now. Like I say, really, you're not meant to trim bits of wool off, but it does kind of have like... Further does that. It's like a fluffy buffy. I don't want a straight edge, obviously. I just cut into it a bit like that. Yeah. Right. I'm sorry I can't show you more of this, but it's obviously a very long drawn out process. And... Uh, You'd soon get bored <laughs> and I wouldn't be able to um, make the video that long. Right, I'll get back to you when I've done a bit more. Right, okay, I've brought it back again. A quick little look at That's it so far. It is working out a bit big. Uh, like It's a good job I'm not bothered about scale because I think really... In real like, reality, it would only be like that big. Right, uh, we're at that point. I'm probably going to try and insert 
pipe cleaners for legs because, um, well, <laughs> just because I don't know whether I can at this late stage. I probably should have made the the whole body, um, if you know what I mean. They don't have long legs from what I've seen. They're quite short. Doing the legs here, I'm not really sure what I'm doing or how I'm doing it, but like I said, I have tried a pipe cleaner. Uh, I'm not sure if it's worked yet. Ouch. Pipe cleaner being out a bit like that because from a distance you wouldn't be able to tell but because their feet are darker at the bottom but I, I don't want to put any more wool on that because it's chunky as it is it's definitely fox-like I think right I've just popped it in here for now um, and it just actually doesn't look too bad I'm just going to paint this green so it looks more like it's bushland, whatever. I mean, obviously, I'll do it a bit better than this, but. Well, hopefully I will. Right, I've just got to take some of this old glue. Right, just cutting some black strips. Let's just see if that's going to be big enough. Right, I'm starting to put the paper on. All I do is cut small strips. I think I showed you that. Fold them in half. I mean, you could, if you have a scorer, you could score them first and then cut them. But it's just as easy just to fold them by hand. And then I'm putting it round the case like this. Right, I'm still struggling with these uh, bulrushes. Oh yeah, so I'm putting a little bit of, it's actually fabric stiffener, but it, all it is is PVA and water, isn't it? Just to see if I can get those to stay a bit more upright. They look nice, but they're just floppy. So if I can get them to stay up, even like that's fine, crossing over each other. It's quite natural. Right, I'll leave them like that a minute, I think. Right, I've decided to make a poor unfortunate pheasant. <laughs> it is poor unfortunate because it's not the best thing ever, but hopefully it'll fit in there nicely. So we'll start putting it together. Right, I'm... Um, Trying to fit it all in <laughs> as best I can without it looking too much of a mess. Uh, I would like the feathers in if I can. Let's just kind of do it without knocking everything over. Uh, tweezers. Of course, I have to remember to let go of them once they're in there. Oh, they keep popping back out. It does not want to go in, does it? Well, I think I'm going to have to chop them off. These things are literally sent to try as I swear to God. <laughs> right, so if that's good, well, I need to get the fox down so he's on the floor. I'm seeing out the front. Both paws. 
right. Get back. Right. So that's what we have. <laughs> I'm laughing because it's actually, <laughs> it's a bit big, let's be honest. Well, I quite like it. And that's the, uh, the back where I had the, the little log with the bulrushes. Poor unfortunate pheasant has been caught by the fox. Stay on there. <laughs> Okay, today I'm going to replace one of the windows in Folly Pet Farm. This is the original glass from one of the windows. Um, I've just literally drawn the outline, divided it up where I know the wood's got to go, and this is the wood I'm going to use. It's just some old pine that I've cut. But first of all, I'm going to get this painted. Right. I've got my wood, I've painted it, I've put a few different colours in it so it's just not plain white and the tiniest bit of charcoal here and there. As you can see it's not either perfectly straight but I think that's quite in keeping with Folly Peck personally. So I'm going to have a piece across there and then there'll be a piece down there and a piece down there and then that just sits in. Right as you can see there's little notches out where the wood's been. There, there, there and there. Um, I suppose I'm going to trust their judgment possibly <laughs> I'll measure up anyway I'll put it on my glass first um, I was going to glue it straight on there but now I'm not sure quite how to go about this I'll measure this and see if it's halfway and then we'll go from there right I've marked that extra bit on now so we can see the bar in the middle So that should be there. Yeah. So I'll just check this against my window frame. Well, I know we've had this discussion before about dilemmas and channel is called that. I'm now thinking, do I put that on the outside and a piece on the inside? Because once that's glued on, that's what it'll look like from the inside, obviously. Without the black pen. <laughs> Where if I put that on the inside as well, it does look much nicer, doesn't it? Right, so the longer piece goes on the inside. And then the other piece goes on the outside, the shorter piece, which is that piece. So I just need to cut down a little bit more to make sure it fits on the outside. Yeah. Right, so what I've got to do is trim that bit off to the... Actually, it's a little bit longer than that there. Right. Mm -hmm. Helps if I don't damage it anymore, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm not known for my finesse. I'm just cutting this off camera because it's hard to do. I really don't want glue on it from the outside as well. Right, I did say I show you warts and all. I put it on the wrong side. <laughs> so now, yeah, the glass. Luckily, the the bond wasn't 
with it being glass probably as good as it would be with anything else so outside outside that way up that's why have i just done that right or wrong do you know what i did have it on the right side i've just taken it off for no reason at all because i'm an absolute plank that right we'll try this one more time and then if it doesn't work i shall lose my rag Right, I'm just cleaning any excess. There isn't much, but I don't want glue on my windows. So I'm just cleaning what little bit is on there off. I don't think there's any on that side. No. nip a bit out of this maybe hmm. it's going to be a lot of trying and fitting uh, I'm going to have to that's those that's fine I'm just gonna have to trim a little bit off the back where it goes under um, and then I'll get back to you right, as you can see the wind is in I just need to make sure that is as flat to the wood as I can get it. So I've put a bit of tape on. I had a look at it in place. It looks perfectly fine. So now I've got to get this wood, get the nails knocked back out and put it back on. Right, that's sitting a lot better. As you can see, I personally did make a full pour on this. Is <laughs> I kept saying, do I want the longer piece? Do I want the shorter piece? I just couldn't think straight. This should have been longer, this middle piece here. Well, in my usual hand-fisted way, I've managed to break the corner of the glass. Luckily, it doesn't show. It's in a place where it doesn't show. So I've been rethinking this. I'm going to knock the bottom piece in first. And then I might have to, those holes are just so close to that. The nail caught it. Right, ding, ding, round two. <laughs> you know me. I'm just trying to be gentle, which isn't against all my nature. Right, I've just had to... This wood was too shallow, so I've had to take the whole groove out more or less up to that white line. On. Right, I got that last one in, I drilled it. It was a tiny bit big, so I just stuck a little bit of wood in and I've hammered that in. That's really solidly tight. So like I say, I've just got to sort this out, sort this out and... Uh, Put a bit of putty in here and there, and that's that window sorted. Right, that's as much done as I can get done at the moment. I've put some putty in all around the edges. As you can see, I've left it pretty. I haven't left the, the roof. It's just, just by the glass, but it's left the glass dirty. So I'll see you for the next project in a bit.